What's going on guys? Today's Bay Talk is all about learning the difference between want versus need. So let's get to it. So what do we mean by want versus need? Well, I think a lot of people get these two terms mixed up in the sense that they often say they need something when they actually just want it. You know, you don't need that new pair of Lululemon. You don't need that new hoodie. You know, need versus want, you know, you need food to survive. You know, you need water to be hydrated. You need air, like oxygen, like there's things that you need and then there's things that you want. And I think a lot of the times we say, I need that to give ourselves a reason to get it. Now, when it comes to mindset, a big change I made was differentiating between these two terms. So, you know, whenever I, I wanted something, you know, I'd be in the store or whatever, I'd see like a new gym tank top or like a new Under Armour shirt or whatever it was I was gonna buy. And I would, before I bought it, I would stop and evaluate. I'd be like, do I really need this or is it just a want? And what I found was I stopped making these pointless purchases. You see a lot of us, most of you guys watching, you probably, you're worried about paying off your student debt. You're worried about getting a house, and house the, 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 you're worried about getting a house in the future. You're worried about all these things that involve money, but yet you're going out and spending money on things you don't actually need. You're buying another pair of Lululemons when you already have five in your closet. You're buying another pair of shoes when you already have three in your closet. You don't know the difference between want and need. If you already have one pair of shoes, you don't need a second. If you already have 15 t-shirts in your closet, chances are you don't need a 16th. If you already have four hoodies, chances are you don't need a fifth. And that's where it comes down to figuring out if you really want it or if you really need it. Now, if you don't have any clothes, I mean, you have no clothes. Let's say you lost all your clothes in a fire. Okay, then, then it becomes the question of, I need clothes. But if you have a full wardrobe, then you don't need that new shirt or that new hoodie or whatever it is, the new pair of shoes, the new Yeezys, the new Jordans. You don't need it. And this was a huge change I've made because now I save so much money by simply asking myself, before I buy something, I'm like, do I want this? Or do I need this? And a lot of the time, 99% of the time, it's it's a want. And I, I leave it. And I'm like, you know what? I don't need it. Cut the bullshit and admit to yourself that you don't actually need that. All right now, if your goals involve money and you're complaining about money and then you're going out and wasting money on shit you don't need, you have no reason to complain. If you're worried about buying a house in the future, but then you're going out and buying a new pair of freaking $100 Yeezys or however much they cost. I don't know how much it costs. I've never even freaking looked into buying them. But if you're going out and buying all this name brand shit and buying cl clothes and shoes and electronics and stuff you don't actually need, you know, if you're trying to get the new iPhone every single year when you don't need it, you have no reason to complain. You can't complain in the future when you don't have money for a house. You can't complain about money in general. Huge. You need to learn the difference between want and need. 99% of the things you say you need, you don't actually need. You already have the iPhone, you don't need the next iPhone. You already have a pair of shoes, you don't need another pair of shoes, all right? Be real with yourself and just stop. Stop using the term, treat yourself as a way to make yourself feel better for spending money that you don't need to spend. You know, it all comes down to the whole spending money we don't have for things we don't need to oppress people we don't like. That kind of ties into this as well. Learn to separate want and need. That's all there is to it. Thank you guys for tuning into this week's Bay Talk. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button, comment down below, the topic you wanna hear me talk about in future Bay Talk videos, the videos coming every Monday. Hit that subscribe button, and as always guys, stay hungry, stay humble, stay positive.